Hello! In this salary tutorial, we'll be looking at how you can apply pricing rules to specific parts of your inventory. To do so, we'll be working with the pricing overview, which can be found in settings, right under pricing rules. Each window in the pricing overview represents a mapping of a smart list to a pricing rule. There are two drop downs that you'll use. The first selects which smart list you want to use. The second selects the pricing rule you want to apply to items in that smart list. Along with all the pricing rules you create, you'll also see two more options available in this drop-down menu. Do not list and ignore. If you're using salary to manage your merchant fulfilled inventory, you can apply the do not list option instead of a pricing rule whenever you want salary to remove those listings from your Amazon account but still keep them in the salary inventory for when you decide to sell them again. Furthermore, if you choose the ignore option instead of a pricing rule, it will ensure all items in that smart list won't be repriced or updated in any way by salary. You can also include a markup or margin to the minimum price calculation for individual smart lists or your whole inventory here. The markup is applied to the cost of the items and will affect the calculation of the minimum price. Negative markups are often used to offer discounts and will prompt a warning that you may lose money on a sale. The margin is a percentage of the final sale price that you wish to be profit. Should you desire a margin be added to the minimum price calculation of your whole inventory or a particular smart list, that value should be added to the appropriate margin field in the pricing overview. If you're selling on multiple venues, you will see all those accounts listed separately. You can define different strategies per venue, or you can apply the same strategy across all venues by selecting the Use Global Pricing option. Use the plus sign to add more pairings between smart lists and pricing rules. The order of these pairings matters. The system applies these pairings from top to bottom. For example, if an item is part of two smart lists, it will be priced using the rule associated with the first smart list. The last pairing in the list should always be for the whole inventory in order to specify a pricing rule for items that don't fit in any of the smart lists specified above. Since the order of lists matters and the whole inventory list encompasses your entire inventory, any pairings placed after whole inventory will be ignored. In fact, Salary never allows you to place any pairings after whole inventory for that very reason. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to send any additional questions you have via email to salary at salaryengine.com or through the in-app email tool intercom and we will gladly help you out. Thank you for watching.